Woo! Part two! I just reviewed the first video. Sound seems alright. Uh, cutscenes sound a, a hell of a lot better than that Spy Fox. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I'm still gonna describe them in case you can't hear them. There's some choppiness. Uh, visuals look alright. Um, it's a little bit dark and fady, but it's what we got for now. Alright, I just explained in my last video don't buy the plasma whip, buy that. Alright, we're exploring Florana. Florana. <laughs> for one of nature's mysteries. Alright, let's go. Yeah. Pointless enemies. Bees. They make the greatest death sounds. Blah. That's a level up. More power, more range. At level 3, they get the first main upgrade, which will change its color more than likely and drastically increase power. And uh, at level 5, they will be top notch. This, this green box up here has a bolt multiplier. Anytime you see one of those, it's probably going to be a part of the brightness. Now, hold on, we're going to turn up the brightness real quick. Freeze frame. Yeah, it looks. Eh, it looks crappy. Oh well. Uh, it actually looks better. All right, here. This is a bolt multiplier, double bolt. So, as soon as you get that, freaking smash everything. Though you guys probably can't see it, there's a lot of boxes in here. So I have to keep the brightness down because again, graphing calculator doesn't like light. Well, this is, if you kill off those enemies, you can probably just go back and buy the weapon. Oh, yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. Great. Oh, is it, you want to get the Inferno in this one? Yeah. Yes. You'll see Inferno box in a little bit. I'll tell you a little Easter egg about it. All the way to the next one, the one the bridge comes up. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, and every 10 health upgrades, as you see, I got 2 because I have 12 health instead of, uh, 10. Every 10, you get a massive upgrade, which is... Like, destroys everything in the area. It's kinda cool. You'll you still remember where the trophy is. Uh, I do, but I'm not gonna worry about it. So, it's kinda pain. Oh, wait, no, yeah, the, the trophy's a pain. The titanium bolt takes you. Ooh, bitch. Bitch. Alright, now you can buy the N60 stone. Yeah, there's a titanium bolt right under here. Yeah. yeah. Alright, now you buy a very, very worth it weapon. And I'm gonna show you a little Easter egg. Yeah, titanium bolt number one! No, I will not be collecting all these because I only know about where 45% of them are. But actually, I know about where 70% of them are. I only know how to get 40 of them. 40% of them. What are you going to call it? Inferno crate. All right, this is the Inferno crate. It makes you invincible for a little bit and allows you to slay anything with one blow. I typically do not use these, but for the sake of the video, I use it just this once. You get two wrenches and you're on fire. Yeah, 
You you're, very on, you're very on fire, and an Easter egg is that's what your final armor will look like. It's not really an Easter egg, it's just kind of a little bit of a foreshadowing. Oh, and it's a time limit thing, so don't expect it to be long. Just a little side note, some weapons will upgrade faster than others. Like a weapon like the N60 Storm will upgrade relatively quickly, where some other weapons don't upgrade as quickly. There's a bunch of boxes on the other side. And here is where you get the ratchet plank, but or the ratchet trophy, but you're not gonna worry about that. I think it's right here. If you go over the, the rail, not over the rail, you gotta go around the side. Remember, is it? Yeah. Are you sure? Are you certain? Yeah. I don't think I can stick to this side. Uh, and we'll screw the entire time. I'll look up how to get that. I'll come back and get that. There's trophies in here with, along with uh, titanium bolts, but they serve no real purpose with the exception of like bragging rights. But I've never really worried about them, or nor did I really ever care. Yo yo. Almost done with this level. No, I saw the path of death. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, Ratchet, we have company. Where? In front of you. Where? That's my favorite character, by the way. Scrunch. Very funny. You having a good time? You went fast on sacred ground. Now you want that on death. Oh, duh. Yeah. Alright, there's a skill point if you make this without getting hit. Uh, I'm not really going to try for it. What the? Oh, uh, that's to get out. But if I make it, I make it. I'm not really going to attempt it a thousand times just to get it, but we'll give it a shot here. That's another little thing about this game. This game has a lot of skill points. Like, wait, what do skill points get you in this game? Did it even get you anything? Cheats. Oh, that's right, cheats. Ah, oh, there goes that. No perfect runs in my place. Don't worry, it's playing Annihilation Nation. Oh my god, that was like every other challenge. Oh, shit. You have the ability to get a skill point. I hate fire. Twice over. There's also um, a titanium bolt in the hair, but it's just a bitch to get. Oh, it's really funny to watch this because they all get smashed and burnt and stuff. See? <laughs> What? Oh. oh! Yeah! Oh shit. Alright. Yeah, I think it's over there on your, like, on your right when you get that fire thing, but... It's like a menace to death. I think it's on the, the right. No, it's not. I forgot where it is. I just know there's one in here. Apparently there's a titanium bolt in here that I've never known about. I actually don't know what's up. Ah. Yeah, here's the man. I will try to do a Let's Play of each Ratchet and Clank game for the PS2 with the exception of Size Matters. One, that's not Insomniac, and two... That game's really hard to do a let's play on. It's only got a few weapons. The only way it can be is to get the rhino, which just takes a ridiculous amount of time. No. Hmm. Okay. We walked your path of death. Now, Stop tell us what you know about Dr. Nefarious. Hmm? Dr. Nefarious. They say you're the only man to ever beat him. Hmm? This guy's even dumb enough. What? 
Captain Quark takes his place as my favorite superhero of all time. Uh, he's the nature mystery. Now I'm about to like get cut in half. Or not, okay. But uh, he made me walk the path of death to prove his worth. And he's got a little bit of monkey in him and slight insanity problems. A little bit of backstory, just in case you know we don't get to the original Ratchet Clank for a bit. Captain Quark used to be Ratchet's idol until Ratchet finally met him and found out he was a complete douchebag. So, Clank still thinks he's good at heart, but Ratchet absolutely hates his guts. In the later games, he becomes the president of the Galactic Army, or whatever you want to call it. Is that like total destruction? Uh, yeah. I need the newer ones. I think it's all of them. Actually, it takes out quite a bit of health. Yeah, that does make sense. Are you gonna kill him with it? No. Hey, another quick tip for a quick experience. If you really want to upgrade a weapon, like I really want to upgrade that machine gun. To get quick experience, lower the boss's health to nothing. And then use this weapon to finish them off, and you'll get crap ton of experience. You See, that? It. See that? It just about leveled it up. It, it did level up. Oh, it did level it up. It was either that or your health. I just heard the sound. I leveled something up because of that, because I rock. Sorry if you're chair chat in the background, we're kind of coming up the battle plan on attack this as we go. We should have done this earlier, but we're not cool with that. didn't upgrade. You're like, right, you're right there. That's bull. How much money do I have? Enough. Just press start, you should know. Uh, 5,000, that's not enough. It's like 20,000, I think. 10,000. Oh, 10,000. Uh, I need more money. Alright. Alright, we're reaching up on Wait, the 15 Wait, hold on. Here. I'm gonna right, just take Num Nuts here to his quarters. These are your quarters. I set up the VG-9000 to play Vidtronic here. Gee, you're rocking this key, but you know that. Quirk's a monkey! He needs to retain his memory. Alright. How do you think he got like this? Well, the life of an intergalactic superhero can be very stressful. <laughs> anyway... You're telling me this nutcase is our only hope for stopping the fairness? Uh, 
Wiener Hose. Oh, I'm gonna get to the battle course. Wait, no. We got it, we got it. Are you still flying? Yep, we're still going. Great. Meet me on the bridge. Well, we're on like the 15 minute mark. Alright, this is the. This is the battle deck. I'm going to not show this in the video because it's just long and repetitive. But at the end of all the stuff, you get some bolts, a titanium bolt, and hopefully, if you're good enough, a weapon upgrade. Alright, when we come back, I'll be right here, but done with all the arena challenges. I'll have more bolts, probably new armor and stuff. Alright, peace out, guys.